Is this true? Is this true? I mean, I've only read opinions that were written by Chief Justice Sam and Chase. But here we got, what's this say? Yeah, he performed invaluable public service in the drive to end slavery in his financial policy as the Secretary of the Treasury during the Civil War and his role as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court during the turmoil of the Reconstruction years. And he played a constructive role as presiding officer over the impeachment trial of Andrew Johnson in the Senate, dot, dot, dot. In 1899, Albert Bushnell Hart wrote out the first biography of Chase in the American Statesman series that met the critical standards of the day, dot, dot, dot. Well, it goes on to say something else about Sam and Chase's biography, but what is this, two roads diverge? I'm not going to accuse Chief Justice Chase of being mentally ill. I'm also not going to accuse co-editor Albert Bushnell Hart of being mentally ill for co-authoring with Arthur Lovejoy a pamphlet by the National Security League about how to confront fascism in the United States. And this is a problem we're having, right? Were there any articles that had bylines by Carrie Leiderson and Charity Krauss? How about this? Were there any articles that had bylines by Charity Krauss with Carrie Leiderson at all as contributors? Yes, there was. You're not talking about the Chicago mental health movement, Carrie. I told you there's nothing revolutionary about this. You're talking about Trump Tower, aren't you? Yes, you are. It seems we have some sort of territorial dispute going on, right? It wasn't supposed to be that way. Would you call it a property dispute? An intellectual property dispute? 